Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Cato part number 105-10 WWC-P Island Chief Fire Extinguisher Cabinet with a clear pull panel for 10 pound extinguishers in white. So this is going to be a plastic cabinet. This is going to be very typically seen where I see plastic cabinets are going to be in those exterior applications where something non-ferrous based is the is what's called for maybe something inexpensive it's what is what's called for apartment buildings gas stations the pool area of a hotel in Las Vegas I see these as well non-ferrous not going to rust uh, UV resistant construction especially the decal that's on here UV resistant inks are used so it's not going to fatigue and fail prematurely now the 105-10 is for a 10 pound extinguisher white body with a with a clear pull panel there's your clear pull panel okay you get the concept of how that's going to work Okay, basically like that. That's clear. Be able to get your hands in there and pull that out. Cylinder lock with key in the frame. That's going to go down below because your installation is going to. You got those two slots that are there, the two tabs that are here. because that panel's not seated properly. Oh, I had it locked. You're all good. Uh, do I? Maybe not. There we go. Now it's locked in place. Okay, all locked up. You'll get one key. Your panel, I've got it kind of crooked in there. That's obviously gonna sit up flat and flush. Now, also what's going to happen is you're going to get the pad for the fire extinguisher to physically sit on. There is, included with the unit installation instructions, place the tray flat side up with the balls down. That will allow for any drainage. In the bottom of the cabinet, the longer part of the tray should be placed in the width of the cabinet from side to side. So, side to side. The tray is designed to allow airflow under the extinguisher to alleviate corrosion uh, due to condensation. Okay, so there's those installation instructions. The balance of the extended description tells us that it is a grid scored UV resistant brake panel for improved emergency egress. That's not the case with this unit. This just features this pull panel. You'll get your hands in there. You're just going to tear this item out is what's going to happen. Um, it's possible that you may not destroy the panel pulling it out, which means it can be reused. And that I believe to be the concept of why they have that pull panel. Made in USA, a, a fact that I know Cato is quite proud of, as, um, as are we to represent them. Being non-ferrous based, it cannot rust. That tail piece of the cam in there I believe is steel, but wouldn't worry about that. No sharp corners, that sure is indeed the case with what we're dealing with here. Pitched drainage, this is going to have the ability to slope out. No glass to shatter. Natural ventilation, dent proof. Less storage space. These can stack so that if you have, let's say that you're a national chain of uh, gas stations, you can keep 50 of these in stock because they will stack together. Um, no padlock required. High density injection molded. Inside dimensions, they're given there, and let's go over all of the dimensional properties now of the unit. I do like to know what we're dealing with. J 
just for the record, that does sit in there very well. Without any trouble at all. I just had it fallen in. It does sit perfectly inside of there. So we're going to pull it out. And we're going to take some dimensions. Overall dimensions first. About nine and a quarter on the width. Overall depth, about seven inch. Overall height is gonna be right approximately 23 inch, but let's take the frame and measure that. Because that's really gonna be the outside. So about nine and three eighths. Overall height of the frame going to be about 23 and 5 sixteenths. Okay. This is going to obviously add a small amount to your total projection. About an inch and an eighth is what this measures. So probably adds about three quarter inch. Now forgive me. I'd say it probably adds about 5 sixteenths. Since we're taking dimensions, the width of the pad for the bottom, about six and a quarter. About five inch. Inside dimensions now. I'm going to just put the tape measure on the inside of the body and tell you that it's inside clear is about six and three quarter with a height of about 20 and a half. Six and three quarter, then 20 and a half inch. You've got four holes in the back for fastening. Anchors are not included. You'll have to supply those. Now there is a couple of links below this video that will allow us to review First of all, the product information. That's there, that's quite handy. That's going to give you an overview of the, on page two, you'll see the 105-10. That's gonna be obviously your 10 pound unit capacity uh, for your fire extinguisher. It states it there. A dash five is five pound, a dash 20, obviously 20 pound. Part numbers of the replacement decals that will be there, that CL416, decal on page two. Well, that's right on the front of your, your pull panel. The CL401s, those are also what's on the side of the unit. Those can be bought separately as well. The WWC, that's going to be white. The R is going to be, of course, a red version. Um, I think red's more common in my experience, especially in the gas station type of application. If you do have a model that has a scored Break glass on page one are the two different types of breaker bars that are, are are available. This doesn't require a breaker bar. There's also a link to the document that's called product catalog. That's going to be an overview of all things Cato, a very uh, comprehensive yet petite offering of fire extinguisher or I should say fire safety equipment. I would recommend that you review their product line. I would also recommend that you review their product line because not only are they, not only do they have a, a product line of good value, but what they have even more so than that is exceptional customer service and prompt, reliable, predictable shipping lead times. Really phenomenal in that requirement. They encourage your orders to come, small or big. They do a great job with it. And I wish only that I could force more Cato business because of how exceptional they are in that department. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Cato products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Cato, this is their part number 105-10 WWC-P, that P is going to give you the pull panel version, or any other Cato product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.